What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're working on a pretty cool project for my Tacoma. I have a box here from Tacoma Beast. Definitely check out their website. I have a lot of products from them and I really like all the products that they have to offer. You can get pretty much everything you want for exterior, interior, and other performance parts as well. Like we have down here that Brian's checking out. These are slotted and, uh, slotted and drilled front rotors for the Tacoma. Of course, I got the brake pads as well. So this is gonna be a pretty cool project. I have about 30,000 miles on the truck, so nothing is really worn out yet, uh, but this is definitely going to help what, with towing, have a little bit better stopping power. Better power, uh, better performance. Better performance. Yeah. Heavy truck, you know? Yeah. Slow it down somehow. <laughs> I've added some weight to the truck so far. Not a crazy amount of weight, uh, but that will obviously help it and stopping a little bit easier. You want to unbox this one? What is it? What is it? Ready? Good thing she can't chew anything but the, the box. Get it. Get it. Get it, honey. Get it. Open the box up. Open the box up. Yeah. Here. <laughs> and good girl. All right. You're going to use a 14 millimeter socket on the back side of the caliper here. So I have my long breaker bar here and I've already loosened one of them. There we go. So you're going to loosen these two bolts. I'm not going to be disconnecting any of the hoses because I don't want to deal with brake fluid and filling that back up and anything like that. But one thing that I also want to do is remove this bracket here for the brake line since that is not really flexible. This might just give us a little bit more wiggle room in order to uh, take this caliper off. So yeah, that's freely floating. As you guys can see. I have, oh yep, I have both of the caliper bolts out now. Okay, yep, there we there go. Yeah. Just a little bit of nice gentle wiggling. So here is where I was saying, maybe I'd let's say... like strap it up. So, so yeah. that'll at least help us. Yeah. I got the rubber mallet and I think we just need a little bit of persuasion. So I'm just going to try to tap the backside here as best I can and we'll just kind of rotate it. I think it's just uh, rusted on a little bit. But I don't think that's really doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> After a little persuasion and a couple different methods, eventually the hammer, or the copper hammer, I should say, did the trick. And we were able to get it off with pretty minimal damage. Just a little bit on the edges there. Nothing crazy. Nice. But now, let's go compare. We do have a driver side and a passenger side. Yeah, so this is left, side. left, so that should be driver that side. should be driver, yep. And this is passenger. So we'll go ahead and look at the before and afters with my new performance brakes. How wow. cool is that? So just normal and uh, new. Yeah. And of course they're vented as well. Yeah. As Oof. I hit the camera. <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and pop that back on. All right. And then we can do the pads since yeah. we have them off. Yeah, we'll do that. It's gonna be easier to do that installation. Sweet. Well, yeah, let's get the uh, rotor on then. And uh, I don't know if there's any weight difference. <laughs> I mean. Are we weight savings, bro? We got, well, I mean, they're still both steel. Yeah. yeah they're or, probably the same. Yeah. Nothing different. Yeah. Better stopping power. Yeah, better cooling efficiency. Yeah. All right, so I went ahead and just wiped down the surface just a little bit. And now, look at those. Nice. They're, uh, it's going to be a little loose right now until we put the, the wheel back on. That looks sick already. Right. Like, look at the contrast with the truck. It just yeah. looks it looks more performancey. Yeah. <laughs> so before we go ahead and put the caliper back on, I and think we I might honestly to... just take this off for now so it doesn't fall yeah, off. Yeah. Let's do that. But there's yeah. a sneak peek. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. Obviously, it fits. Last thing we need is that to smash. But yeah, this is pretty simple. And the only other brake job we've ever done is me doing it on the GTR. GTR. Like I did brake pads and I've had them off a few times. So you can help me because I've never, I've done this on my motorcycle. We put the caliper back on now just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to start by pushing this pin out of the back side and it's going to come out of this top bolt here and the bottom bolt here, which hold the brake pads in. So next up, I'm probably going to have to use a hammer to pop those out. I got my punch now and the hammer and that's going to be the easiest way to back these bolts out. So just a little tap, nothing crazy. And that one is free. And then the same with the top. Oh, look at that, all right. Now just pull the pads right out. Never wear your good shorts. <laughs> yeah, all right, now I can just pull them right out. And this clip here should should be okay, right? Yeah, just pull them out. 
You'll take the clip off. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that's how it is. Yeah. And now these will come out. That's one side. Now, honestly, the pads are in pretty good shape. Oh, yeah, for 31,000 miles, I really don't need to replace the pads, but replacing yeah. the new rotors, uh, I might as well. And then I have a backup set. So I'm going to put the pins back in. That way it makes it a little bit easier to uh, keep these brake pads from moving. That'll actually hold it in much better. Yeah. And then we can put... Uh, these needle those pliers to bend that in there. Yeah, so we just finished reinstalling the caliper and the reason that we did that it made it a lot easier to open up the brake pads So that way the rotor will slide right between them. So it's just easy to mock it back up And that way you're not having to fight it. It weighs a good bit when you're down here trying to do all this All right, you ready Brian? Yep. So I've got these ready to go So if you can hold that as sturdy as possible. Oh man, what? there we go. That's in. Yep, that's in. Yeah, so I guess on the other side, we may actually disassemble the brake pad from the caliper first before taking the rotors off, because you basically need this in a stationary position to apply enough pressure to close, or to open up the pistons a little bit. Yeah. But uh, that is, yeah, that's about it. And we'll just tighten that bolt up and then we'll take a look at it. All right guys, that finishes up one side. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So one thing that we just noticed is we don't even have to use a hammer on this side. The rotor is already loose. So we kept the caliper on to take the pads out and then I think just applying the pressure to put these back into place kind of just helped loosen it. So yeah. there's a nice helpful uh, tip. I pivoted on the back side of the rotor. Yeah. Now the rotor's loose and this will take like 20 minutes. Now, of course, the second time around goes much smoother than the first time, so we learned a couple tricks. And now it's time to tell you guys what the brake feel is like. I'll go ahead and push it now. Yeah. I can go all the way to the floor. Yeah, so yeah. let's uh, start it up then. So I got the e brake on. So you have to pump it a few times to oh, build pressure. Good. Yeah? Yeah, pressure's already there. All right. So, so now we're gonna go for a quick drive, and while he does that, we'll take a quick look. Hey, look. So sweet in there, kind of subtle, you can't really tell, but that is definitely a nice improvement over stock. All right, so now that everything is installed, you've never done brakes ever on any vehicle. I have not. The only time on the channel is the GTR when I did new brake pads on that. Yeah. Uh, we've just never had to replace brake pads. They last a very long time. Well, you saw the stock ones. I mean, I have a, I have a backup set. Yeah. And we'll see how these compare. So what your braking procedure is gonna be, so I'm like, Take a listen, yep. you guys take a listen for those of you who are doing this. So you do not want to do any aggressive stops down to zero miles an hour, that's not good. So what you want to do, I would say drive around your neighborhood very conservatively, yep. you know, get up to you know, 20 miles an hour and just apply the brake pedal without really slowing down just to... So we're at 20. Yep, so just tap the brakes a little bit. Should so, I pulsate it or nope, hold it? Just, just hold it on it. Yeah. Basically we're going to let the brake pad material kind of slowly work its way onto the yeah. brake pad. Yep. So just do that, you know, take a lap around your neighborhood, and then you're gonna get out on the main road, and actually, we'll just switch right to there. All right, now that we are up on the highway, what we're gonna do is just a few conservative runs right now. We're gonna get to about 50 miles an hour, yep. and then half brake pedal press, just get yep. us down to like 20, like a firm press. That's pretty good. Yep. So doing that, and you're basically gonna do that three times back to back, 
and then now, so pretend you do that two more times, yeah. and then you're gonna get up to 60 miles an hour and do the same thing, half brake pedal, still a firm press, but not slam on the brakes. So getting up to about 60, keep it up a little bit more. So now that we're going 60, hit the brakes a good amount, like half pedal press. Yep. All right, so then down about 20, and so just do that three times, and then once you've done that, so that is six, uh, six different tests, do the same thing. Sounds good. <laughs> so now that you've done that, you know, six times, from 60, do a much firmer press then. You'll do that three times at, you know, 40, three times at 60, and that's pretty much all you need to do. Just don't come to a complete stop. Your brakes are gonna get very hot after all this, and that is basically breaking them in. Performance cars, it's a little more important to really, really do it perfectly because you use your brakes a lot for performance driving. This yeah. truck, I mean, you're not driving a big <laughs> performance vehicle, yeah. but it's still good to break them in like that. So that's kind of all you gotta do, just, you know, 10 runs of decelerations, um, start we'll off. a couple more. Yeah, and uh, start off conservative, don't slam on the brakes yet. And after you heat them up a little bit, slam on them a little bit harder. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Once again, check out Tacoma Beast. I'll have a link to their website in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you can stay tuned and see more of our videos. <laughs> stay up to date with all of our videos. We'll see you guys in the next video.